Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, everybody, thanks for coming out today. My name is Brent Tweed. I was the uh, 2012 Maine Republican Party State Convention Chair. I also was a national delegate in support of Ron Paul down to the RNC National Convention, if, if you want to call it a convention. But anyway, I'm here today to represent, to uh, introduce State Representative Aaron Libby. State Representative Aaron Libby is a two-term legislator who has served in the Maine legislature since 2010, and he is Maine's best liberty legislator. He has been a Ron Paul supporter since the 1990s and was recently endorsed by Ron Paul in his re-election re campaign. He was delegate to the 2012 Republican National Convention in support of Ron Paul. During his time in the legislature, he has spearheaded many liberty initiatives, including Obamacare nullification, constitutional carry, a Tenth Amendment interstate commerce bill, marijuana legalization, a bill to bring the National Guard home, and he introduced a food sovereignty bill that passed the Maine legislature. Please welcome State Representative Aaron Libby. Thank you, Brad. Thank you all for being here. It's really good to see this uh, type of crowd here. Now, the Federal Reserve, the Fed. We hear the Fed raise this, lower that. Praise the Fed, hail the Fed, audit the Fed, and even end the Fed. But what is the Fed? It is not federal, and surely there are no reserves. On the Fed's website, conveniently found on federalreserve.gov, quoted, the Fed is a central bank of the United States. That kind of sounds like Karl Marx's fifth plank of the Communist Manifesto to me. Also on the Fed's, Fed's website, Quote, the Fed is, was created by Congress to provide the nation with a safer, more flexible, and more stable monetary financial system. Now, Article 1, Section 8 of the U.S. Constitution clearly says that the Congress has the authority to coin money. Does Congress even have the authority to delegate that power? More on the Fed's website. Today, the Fed has responsibilities fall into four general areas. Number one. Conducting the nation's monetary policy by influencing money and credit conditions in the economy in the pursuit of full employment and stable prices. Influencing money? You now, when you're pr printing money out of, creating money out of thin air, I'm pretty sure you've gone a little past influencing. You're controlling it by that point. And we talk about uh, stable prices. Since the Federal Reserve in 1913, 98% of our value of a dollar has been printed away. Number two, supervising and regulating banks and other important financial institutions to ensure the safety and soundness of the nation's banks and financial systems to protect credit and the right of the consumers. Soundness? Sound? I'm pretty sure the only thing sound about the Federal Reserve is the granite blocks that hold the building up. The money is fiat and there certainly are no very, very small amount of reserves. Number three, maintaining the stability of the financial system and containing systematic risks that are, may arise in financial markets. Since 1913, we've only endured two depressions and many, many recessions. This works a little better with the podium, I'm sorry. <laughs> Teleprompter, yeah, I can't read that either. Number three, provide, uh, number four, providing a, a central, certain financial services to the U.S. government, U.S. financial institutions, and foreign official institutions, and playing a major role in operating the overseas nation's payment systems. You know, the Fed has a great PR. Most politicians and financial gurus will protect the Fed is that we need it for stability, keeping inflation in check, and keeping the economy strong. When in fact, not only is this wrong, it's the exact opposite of what's happening. When you create something out of thin air, you're just devaluing it, meaning the dollar buys less and less every year, reducing the purchasing power of the average American. Inflation has nothing to do with prices. Inflation is simply and only created by increasing the money supply. What good is the savings when the dollar is worth less year after year? A retired person is in trouble when their savings is devalued away to nothing. The economy suffers through booms and busts, recessions and depressions all at the hand of the Fed. It's centralizing planning, 
and booms and busts, these business cycles are not created by the free market. Demands and wants are endless, and they will never stop. By creating easy money, a boom is artificially created. When the market can't handle the malinvestments, the bust is the correction. If the American people had to be taxed directly 100% of what the government spends, the people wouldn't stand for it. The people would demand the end to these endless wars and would, all the wasteful handouts. The entire welfare and warfare state is enabled by the ability of creating money out of thin air. We must return to sound money and keep it away from the fraudulent fractional reserve systems. To take down the, ma the monster, you must take the head. The Fed is the head of our monster. Now what to do about it? Now what do we do? We look here, this is a great start, getting out and speaking about it. Education is the key. The information is out there and we just have to get the information spread around. One of the best ways to get the information, I really encourage, if you haven't seen the, the video, Money, Banking, and the Federal Reserve. It's a Mises Institute put it out in 96. Some of the clothing's a little dated, but the information is timeless. If you haven't seen it, please take the time. Also some great books, The Creature from Jekyll Island, Case Against the Fed, Got Murray Rothbard, what, was gov what has government done with our money? Murray Rothbard, and of course, End the Fed by Ron Paul. So as I stand here in front of you now, I ask you, end the Fed, end the Fed, let's all go and end the Fed. Thank you.
Everyone doing all right? All right. Let's see if yeah, this is This is national and the wars and the Fed Day. Keep going straight. Who Street? 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 Who Street?
Republicans, we've got Democrats, and people are waking up to the fact that this is an issue that affects everybody. Um, and like Dizzy was saying, you know, I mean, these people, they come in, um, they write fraudulent loans, they don't bring just consideration to the loan, you know, so like, say if you go and you save up money, 20, say you save 20 grand to put down for a house, you know, the bank creates that 20 grand when they sign the piece of paper, they don't actually bring any physical money to the contract. So just right there, banks through the fractional reserve system are allowed to create money out of the air, creating more and more and more and more money in the price of And it's really um, empowering and, and, and it makes me really happy to see that we're putting together a wide-based coalition, you know, and um, people want to think about uh, trying to call. I remember like Al was saying our first um, and the Fed rally we had it was literally like probably 10 years. Well, we had like 110 years there and everyone was loud. You know, and we've been doing it ever since. And um, I hope you guys come out again. And I hope one of these times we can actually get rid of these people. come from all across New England just like we hope and uh, we had a soapbox that was pretty cool people got together they said their piece about the Fed and um, stopped the Faneuil Hall talked to folks about how the United States government um, through Barack Obama and his drone program executed an American citizen who was 16 years old uh, people don't really believe that so um, if you don't believe that Google it because um, it's a fact uh, Anwar Awalaki's son was 16 looking for his dad in Yemen couldn't find him obviously a week before that he was killed um, his dad was killed, and, and uh, yeah, so we talked to people about that, and uh, we had an awesome soapbox, and we're ending the Fed, and uh, we're going now to the Rosebud over in Davis Square to have an after party and uh, keep the fight going, educating the people along the way. 
Well, it's good, always good to spread the word uh, about, you know, the, the truth. You know, the Federal Reserve is the biggest scam in history and we're all its victims. Uh, that's why we're here. We want, we want the end of this uh, fiat currency. I remember when I was a boy, you know, you could use, uh, there's still silver in the coins. And it's funny because when I was a coin collector, uh, my dad was a milkman. He'd come home, I'd say, Dad, empty your pockets. He'd throw the change on the table and even at like six, seven years old, I, I'd be pulling the silver out, man. This is, this is the real deal. So, uh, you know, uh, this generation now, we have a generation that's never even seen real, real money, you know. So this is just, you know, it's not backed by silver or gold. Basically, the currency now is backed by fear, you know, nuclear bombs, the threat that if you, if you, you know, take your economy off our currency, we'll come blow you to smithereens. And what are we going to do about it? Well, I think first of all, we try, we, we're at the point once again, you know, a lot of us tried to get Ron Paul elected, that's futile, one man can't turn this around. Um, Kennedy tried to back in, uh, I don't know, the 60s, you know, he, he tried yeah, to the 15th, the before he was start a, uh, a, 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 a you, you go back to U.S. Treasury notes, you know, which still, I don't know if that was backed by anything but other than the fact that we didn't have to borrow from a central bank and pay interest on it. So they killed him, you know. Interestingly enough, uh, what was it, executive order, what was it again? 11110? You don't know that? Okay. Uh, well, that's what it was. Um, and, uh, and then they killed them, and then they got those uh, out of circulation. Anyways, uh, it's tough to fight that system, you know, that's, the, the, the bankers uh, pretty much rule the world. Um, so anyways, what we try to do is wake people up, and sooner or later, if enough people are waking up, then their lies don't work anymore. I think that's the only thing we can do. It's an information war. Uh, so we continue to try to wake people up. That's the biggest thing. Wake up America. Is that my can? That is my can. Hey, Kristen.